Alright, so welcome to another installment of uh, Busting the Balls Call of Duty Comte Gameplay. Uh, get this underway. Trying to get a new, new way, because uh, the last time the audio oh, wasn't loud enough to really hear over the, over the gameplay, which kind of sucked. But, yeah, kind of just took it as it goes. So, we're going into action here. Got a, a domination that's on launch. Um, playing with a I just prestige when I played this match. Um, it's probably like a month or two old now at this point, but you know, get get around the stuff in between. So this is why it's coming to you now. Uh, also, I want to say uh, kind of trying to come up with some new ideas and stuff. Uh, kind of like the idea of uh, having all my subscribers kind of. Identifying you as neighbors, because I'm busting the door, so uh, I'm busting all your hoods, so therefore you're all my neighbors. Let me know how you think about that. Uh, if you would, just leave a comment response in the, in the comments, or send me a message or whatever. Also, if you want to see me play a different kind of game type, or with a different weapon, or with, you know, different kind of loadouts, I'm not too challenges, I'm not afraid to do different things. I don't really like Ghost, but uh, the past few days I've actually been using it, so it works out sometimes, but I still don't like not having enough ammo. kind of sucks. So, but uh, yeah, pretty much just been working. Um, I'm actually about to move back across the country. Just moved across the country last year. Hadn't even been quite a year yet, but that's kind of how stuff goes. And uh... Uh, somehow I saw that guy right there and I didn't start shooting at this guy first, but still got him. And uh, yeah, so this is a pretty good gameplay, some specifically because uh, you know, it was I had just prestige right before the match. Like, if you notice from the beginning, I started off as a level one, and I don't even remember what I uh, finished finish the game ranking is, but uh, I'm pretty sure I'll pull out the top score. Which definitely is a bug when you're using a freaking MP5 and a UAV care target and attack target, but that's all you have. You can't even play it fast. This guy right here is fine because he keeps trying to fix that up. And fail. And fail. And I killed you. So, some people don't try to do quick scopes. You can't do it. Give it up. Alright. Yep. There he is again. Trying to quick scope. Good other fail. And you. Can taste my blade. All right, there you are again. You freaking quick scope gonna be. <coughs> Sorry about that, but uh, yeah. So um, hope everybody's doing good. Hope everybody's uh, enjoying their summer. Coming. Been out in Washington. There's not that much of a summer. Over uh, the last like week, it has been pretty nice. Uh, having days of 70 some degree weather. Which definitely doesn't suck. Uh, the only time it does suck is when it's on your day you're working. And then on your day off it's kind of overcast, cloudy, and just crappy. It just kind of sucks. Um, that's one thing about Washington State. Um, it is definitely a beautiful place. But the weather doesn't allow you to enjoy it enough, so it kind of blows. But it is what it is, you know. Oh yeah, I don't know how he epically fell there. I mean, he was behind me, started shooting, I ran around the cover and turned around and just wasted him. But, so, uh, I think here in a second I'm picking up someone else's MP5 and I'm sitting there basically, uh, uh, overkill, freaking overkilling it with the, uh, with the MP5s. Look at that fail of a grenade toss. End up missing the whole freaking thing. But, you know, it is what it is. Come on, just call me my phone. You heard the ringer in the background? Uh, it's from Lupe Fiasco's new album, Lazy. I definitely do recommend it. It's an awesome album. If you don't know who Lupe Fiasco is, uh, I don't know what to tell you because uh, obviously you are retarded and have no taste in music. But, yeah. So, uh, hopefully this, this one's going to turn out a lot better because I don't plan on, uh, hopefully I don't plan on trying to record this commentary for a second time. Because, uh, 
I had this gameplay edited now for about a week. And, uh, just been dragging my feet, bullshitting it. Um, hopefully, uh, tomorrow I should be going to see The Hangover 2. One of my friends from Xbox Live that lives out here. So that should be a lot of fun. Because it should be hilarious. But, yeah. I got Adam Mario to load for. Oh, oh, you think I'm running out? No, no, I'm gonna switch over to my other MP5. Then that suck. Alright. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right here. I freaking just kind of set up. I don't know where I'm at, but they can't get to me because we need two MP5 and I want the rapid fire with extended mags. Yeah, it's kind of a nice thing. But, yeah. So, uh, let me know what you think. Uh, Gameplay is alright. Final KD is 36 and 8. Not phenomenal. Not horrible. I figured it was good enough to put on my channel, so I took the time to do it. Let me know what you want to see there. Uh, people want to see some Halo videos, Modern Warfare 2, maybe even some uh, Take It Back to Cobb 4. I uh, don't have a problem with doing that. Uh, Cobb 4 is definitely still one of the better. First person shooters, especially when it comes to the multiplayer. Oh, look at that fail. He tried to knife me. Then he tried to 360, like, no scope me. We still don't know it. But then he got a boyfriend hiding over there, and nowhere wrapped around behind C. So, what can you do? But, uh, we're kind of having trouble trying to maintain a spawn position because we're playing with three randoms, me and, one of, me and two of my friends. And the randoms always want to capture positions that we don't need. It's not always a good idea to dominate. You only want to dominate when you can control all three at the same time. You know, for instance, if you're trying to do a contract or you just want to kick the crap out of people, it doesn't matter. But you got to know what you're doing. You got to know where the spawn positions are. You got to know how far you can push into someone's spawn before you push them behind your spawn. A lot of people don't understand or they wonder why when they uh, they get all the way into the other team's flag, why the enemy starts spawning behind them. That's why you push the spawn. Not only that, but if you take all the th all three flags, you make them randomly spawn. Also a bad idea because you don't know where they're going to be spawning at, and how likelihood they will spawn behind you. Because they set it up like that to make it clear. They don't want you to keep getting spawned and shot in the butt. It's kind of gay. A lot of people hate it. So, this is stupid over here. I shouldn't have called my care package, but... That's how it goes. You gotta need to try to capture C. He just wanna come to the core package. But, I had that moment. So, uh, yeah, video's about to be winding down. I think it's, uh, wait, it's just under, just under nine minutes, full game play time, and, uh, along with editing screens and stuff. But, uh, you know, if you're out there, it's going to be suggestions, helpful hints, tips, tricks, uh, software, or anything you might want to let me know about or let me uh, try to voice to my community and my fans and everything. I will definitely do that, pass it along to everybody I can. But I do appreciate everybody's uh, support. Keep it, keep it watching my channel, and I should be having a lot more videos coming all the time. All right? I do appreciate it. Bye now.